Amen. Is there a praise on the line tonight? God bless you. God bless everybody. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We thank you. We honor you. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. All the glory belongs to God. Oh, yes, the devil is in trouble tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said the devil is in trouble tonight. Amen. Because we got victory in Jesus. Amen. We got victory in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we know, oh, God. Oh, God, that you are touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Oh, God, and with faith, God. Oh, God, you can make us whole on tonight. Amen. We give honor to God, to his son, Jesus. Amen. We honor the blessed Holy Ghost. I say God bless everybody on the line, Bishop Willis. Amen. Give honor to him, Evangelist Willis. God bless you. So good to hear your voice. So good to see you in the service. And so good to see you and hear you on tonight. Amen. As we know that God is still on the throne. Nothing is too hard for God. How many know God is still a miracle worker? God is still a promise keeper. God is still a load bearer. God is still a deliverer. He's still the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Can I get an amen from somebody? Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. Oh, the devil in trouble tonight. Yes. Amen. And I give honor to my wife. Amen. Sister Tierra Frazier. Amen. Amen. Where you are standing right now, wherever you are in your house, your homes, amen, in your car, on your job, Facebook, YouTube, however this gospel may reach you, I say God bless you right now. I just ask that you lift your hands. Wherever you are, lift a hand, lift a hand, lift a hand. Come on, everybody. Lift a hand. Somebody say, God, send your word tonight. God, send your word. Send your word. Amen. How many know that there is a word? from the Lord and how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Uh, amen. I'm glad to be, amen, on the battlefield for the Lord. Yeah. Glad that I am yet in the army of the Lord. Don't mind going through a battle. Yeah. Don't mind going through a fight. Don't mind, amen, having a wrestle, amen, against the devil who is my adversary who oppose God and oppose those, amen, that work for God, that labor for God, that live for God. I don't mind being a soul Soldier for the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Why? Because I'm fighting for my life. Yeah. And beloved, that's what we all doing. We are fighting for our life. Those yeah. that save, those that's holy, those that's really living the life. And no, we're not ashamed oh, of the no. gospel of Jesus Christ. We're not ashamed to live the life for God. Yeah. Amen. We're not ashamed to dress modest. Oh, we're not ashamed to look, amen, to be a reflection of the image of Christ who that's brought right. us out of darkness yeah. into the marvelous yeah. light. No, we not going to dim our light on our job. Oh, yeah. Amen. We're going to have a bright light on our job yes. just like we have a bright light in the four walls of the church. Amen. Come on somebody how many know it's still holiness or hell? Yes. How many know it's still God's way or the devil's way? And how many know you still got to choose this day oh, yes. who you gonna serve? Amen and like, jo and like Joseph said for me and my house All right. I said for me and my house oh, this oh. temple we gonna live holy yes. we gonna live sanctified we gonna live by the standards of God we gonna uphold the commandments and the standards of God. We not going to take down. We not going to compromise. We going to live the life that Christ died for us to live because it's holiness without which no man shall see God. Yes. Oh yes and that standard is still yet standing in the oh, land. Yes, Amen. Is. God is still calling abominations abominations. Yes, is. God is still calling sin sin. God is still calling holiness holiness Amen. and he's yet declaring holiness without which no man shall see God. He didn't ask us to try to be holy, people. Right. He said be holy. All he right. said be ye holy as I, the Lord God, is holy. Yes. And I don't mind being holy. Mm -hmm. I don't mind having the Spirit of God in me. I want to walk with God. I want to talk with God. Yes. And once I die or the rapture take place, I want to live in a bad with God forever. Yes. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, oh, yes. and it's going to take a fight, people. Yes, it's going to take a press. Yes, Amen. Sir. It's going to take a warfare. Amen. But we are soldiers in the army of the Lord, and we don't wax cold. Amen. As soldiers, we, we wax bold. We don't wax cold. We wax bold. Yes. Amen. He said, I would that you be hot or cold. Right. Because you lukewarm, I spew you out. I don't want to hear God telling me, depart from me. Yes. You did yes. run well, but what hindered you? Right. I want to hear God say, well done, yes. thou good and faithful servant servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Right. Come on up to bright glory yes. and it's in the joy of thy Lord. How many run in the rain with Jesus? Yes. How many look in the rain with God? Yes. How many looking to hear him tell you well done? Oh, yes. I got a better question. How many of y'all living a life to hear him say well yes, done? Sir. 
Amen. Hey, Amen. I'm willing to live the life. Amen, cause hypocrisy won't help me. No, Throwing in a white towel won't help me. No, Waving a white flag of surrender won't help me. Amen, we soldiers, there is no uh, no retreat. There is no bagging up. There is no Amen. retreat. There is no giving up. Amen, we got to stand. We got to fight. We got to press. We got to live it. Every day of our life, we got to hold on to our faith. That's right, Evangelist Beverly. We all got to hold on to that faith in God. Mm. Our faith got to be rooted. Our faith got to be planted. Our faith Good. got to be anchored mm. in the true and living God. Uh, when he come, Jesus said, shall I find faith on earth? Uh, I want God to see uh, that I kept the faith, uh, yeah. that I didn't cease to pray, uh, that I lived the life, uh, that I waited and expected his return. Uh, I didn't waver in my faith. Uh, I didn't let doubt overtake me. Uh, I didn't let the pressures of life overtake me. I didn't conform to the devil. Yes. I didn't conform to the world. Yes. But I stayed renewed yes. in the spirit of my mind. So many people, amen, they want to get to heaven. But yet they have not been transformed. Oh, Beloved, right. you got to be transformed. Amen. You can't be conformed. You got to be transformed. Yes. He said, be not ye conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Yes. Woo, I said the Amen. devil is in trouble Hallelujah. Devil in trouble tonight Amen because the gospel got to go out yes, Amen right. I'm here to preach the whole Counsel of God Amen I would not shun to declare to you the whole counsel I got to tell it like it is Amen. Beloved keep your faith in God Keep your strength in God Keep looking up Amen to the hills From which cometh your help knowing yes. that your help come from God Devil he wants you to be lost mm -hmm. The devil don't want you to make it The devil amen he want to hide this gospel Amen from your ears that's why you got so many smoothing the message over. They preach melodious. They sound right. so meticulous. And the Lord, uh, watch this. Dust. That's it. That that ain't real. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. We need the unadulterated gospel of Amen. Jesus Christ that's going to tear down strongholds. Yes. That's going to tell it like it is. That's going to show ye the way of Christ. That's going to show men and women their transgressions. Uh, in the house of Jacob, they sins. Uh, what it take to get God and what it take to keep God. Amen. Woe be unto these folk that's concealing the gospel. All right. Amen. With melodious words. Amen. If the gospel is here, it's here from them that are lost. And I'm not going to have the blood on my hand because I want people to look up to me and say, oh, he's an eloquent speaker. Right. Oh, he fares. He speaks so sumptuously. <laughs> oh, he speaks so well and so educated. Amen. Your degrees don't mean nothing when it comes to the word of God. Amen. Amen. You can go to Bible seminary. You can go to preacher school where they teach you how to preach like that, where they teach you how to read scriptures like that. But I want the knee bone school. Right. I want the Holy Ghost. Yes. I want that power that comes from God. Whether I break a verb, I still able to break a stronghold in your life All if right. I preach and lay hands on you. Amen. Oh, glory. Somebody shout glory. Oh, glory. Oh, yes, but don't you be lost, people. Don't you give heed to the seducing spirits and doctrines of amen. devils. Don't you, amen, ask God for spiritual discernment. Yes. Don't you be deceived. Don't you be deceived, amen, by wolves in sheep clothing, right. preachers that come talking holiness, preachers that's saying that they saved and of God and know the Bible like you, mm -hmm. amen, but they come teaching things contrary to what the doctrine you have heard. All the right. Bible said reject that man. Yes. Reject that woman. Amen. If they a heretic after the first or second admonishing you to try to show them what you've been taught, the standard that God have laid. Amen. The foundation that God have laid and the teachers and preaching as God have gave you. Amen. After a first or second admonishing, the Bible said to reject that person. Alright. Oh yes. We got to learn how to reject people sometimes. Amen. Yeah, we saints, we love everybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we cannot receive everybody. Because there are many wolves in sheep clothing. Right. Amen. And if this doctrine is here, it's here from them that are lost. But I don't want you to be lost. I'm telling you to abstain from all the very appearance of evil. Yeah. I'm telling you to keep looking to the hills from which cometh your help. I'm telling you to keep your eyes set on Jesus. Keep your mind focused on Jesus. Get out that TV so much and put your mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Get your mind Amen. off them sick 
sitcoms and movies uh, and now. seek for the Holy Ghost. Uh, seek for power. Uh, seek for power every hour uh, to stand in these last and evil days uh, because the devil is taking this thing seriously. Oh, yeah. He know that his time is short. Uh, mm-hmm. And if the devil know his time is short, uh, beloved, you got to know that your time is short too. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not time to play with God. Uh, it's it's time to get serious uh, yeah. about your soul salvation uh, yeah. because souls are going to be lost. Uh, mm-hmm. There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh, the trumpet is going to sound one day uh, and the dead in Christ going to rise first. Uh, amen. And it's time, uh, oh, amen, yeah. for us to live it like never before. Uh, mm-hmm. It's time uh, for us to be serious about God like never before. Uh, yeah. Come on, somebody. How many know that I'm right about oh, it? Oh, yes, sir. You're right about it. Oh, yes, I know I'm right. Yes, amen. Sir. It's time they man to get to these conference line yeah. amen and listen to the gospel that's being preached without compromise yeah. and to know them that labor among you to know to, to, to be able to have that discernment between a wolf and a sheep uh, right. amen a preacher that's went but a preacher that's sin uh, you got to know the difference uh, yeah. amen you got a whole lot of folk uh, yeah. that got these names and got these titles uh, but God is not pleased with their life uh, right. you got a lot of folk that's behind pulpits uh, they preaching the word of God uh, but God is not pleased with their life uh, because they compromise and uh, the word of God. Don't you know uh, the devil know the scriptures too? Uh, and he take this word and he twist it. Uh, he take this word and manipulate it. Uh, he take this word to deceive you. Uh, but you got to know uh, we got to live holy. Uh, we got to live righteous. Uh, we got to live blameless. Uh, the Bible said teaching us, uh, amen, that to deny ungodliness uh, and worldly lusts uh, that we should live sober, yeah. righteously, uh, and godly in this present world. Uh, we got to uh, lay aside every weight. Uh, we got to give up all sin. Uh, we can't still be struggling when strongholds, uh, when trumpet of God shall sound. We cannot still be struggling, uh, right. tottering the fence, uh, wavering minded, uh, backing up and being doubtful, uh, unsure about your uh, salvation, uh, right. not rooted in God, uh, not rooted in salvation. Uh, when the trumpet of God shall sound there's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to miss the mark but I'm here to warn you tonight don't you be left here amen when Christ come for the church don't you be left here people on this earth to face the wrath of God don't you be left here people I'm sounding the trumpet tonight I'm warning somebody don't you be left here We're in your backslidden condition backsliding in your mind on God. Right now you playing church. You walking in sin and then walking into the church. You walking in sin and then you walking on the conference lines. The devil is a liar. Get serious about your salvation. Don't you be left here. It's more closer now than it's ever been before. Jesus Christ, he's coming for the church and once he come beloved, if you left here you're lost. Once the trumpet of God sound, if you haven't made yourself ready and if you haven't prepared yourself uh, to beat to meet God in the air uh, you gonna be lost forever you, there's no more hope uh, there's no more grace uh, don't you know beloved uh, after Christ come uh, grace is cut off for the oh, church yeah. uh, amen the doors of salvation is slammed shut uh, how many know that I'm right about it uh, now is the dressing room uh, now is the getting right uh, oh, yeah. now is uh, the time of the make Jesus your choice Jesus. right now right now. now is the accepted time yes. today when you hear God's voice heart not your heart you've been playing around right. with them strong coats too long it's time to lay aside every weight yes. and the sin that does so easily beset you it's time amen to grab a stronghold on God and never let him go it's time to love God like never before yes. set your affections on things above uh, not things on this earth uh, get your mind off the world uh, get your mind off them earrings uh, get your mind off that jury uh, get your mind off that paint uh, get your mind off them tight skirts uh, get your mind off them pants uh, get your mind uh, amen detached from the world uh, love not the world uh, love not the world neither the things that are in the world uh, if any man love the world uh, the love of the father is not in him that's why you can't come to church amen you make excuses why you won't assemble yourself with the righteous 
because your mind uh, and your heart uh, is still attached to the things of the world uh, and will be unto you uh, when Christ come and you are left here hallelujah Lord this is uh, the grace period right now for man yes it is are you with me people Oh, this the warning tonight. All right. You don't get preachers that sound in the trumpet like this All too right, often. People. Letting you know, don't you be left here. All right. Don't you be caught with your works undone. All right. I don't care how bad, I don't care how much you beat the bungalows in your church. I don't care how much you stroke the keys on the organ in your church. Makes no difference how much you beat the tambourine and beat the drums in your church. No matter how much you sing melodiously on the church lines or in your church services. If you not living holy, if you still attached to the world, if you still found with your works undone, when Christ come, you are not being caught away. You better know the things that keep you out if you really want to go in. Amen. You got a whole lot of people, they want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. They want to enter in, yes. but you better know the things that keep you out if you want to enter in. One spot, one wrinkle, one blemish will keep you out. He said, if you will keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, you're guilty of the whole law. Don't you be left here when Jesus come, when you done had all these warnings, all right. when you done heard all these preachers. When you done heard all these messages from the messengers of God, mm -hmm. don't you know God, he always sends his warnings before destruction. Yes. God always sound the alarm yes. to warn the people before the war come, Amen. before the trials and tribulations come. Amen. Beloved, it's not time to be caught with your works undone. We don't have time for that. Amen. It's closer now than it's ever been before. That's why I'm encouraging you to save to stay saved. Yes. Encouraging you that's holding on to God, that's having faith in God and walking in the statutes and commandments of God, living holy and righteous. Stay with God. Stay with Don't God. you be discouraged. Yes. Keep looking up to the hill. Yes. Keep looking to Jesus, knowing that your amen work shall not be amen forgotten. God is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to pour it out one day. Amen. And when Jesus cracked the sky it'll all be over yes. amen how many looking to see Jesus oh, yes. I want to see Jesus yes. in that happy land yes. oh yes when we can rest from our labors yes. and our works will follow us yes. where we can rest amen from our toiling and our struggling yes. and our stress this ain't the time to be getting laxed in God the time to rest is not now the time to kick your feet up it ain't time to kick your feet up and get laxed and eased in Zion yes. amen there's a time for rest yes Amen. Eternal rest. Everlasting rest. Rest that lasts forever. Peace that lasts forever. Joy that lasts forever. The anointing of God. The full presence of God forever. Oh, I want to see him. I want to make it. I want to endure. I want to hold on. I got to. I got to make it. I got to. I got to put my feet on them transparent gold glass. Amen. Streets that's paved with gold. I got to make it into that city. Oh, yeah. I didn't come this far to turn from God. Oh, I didn't yeah. come this far, amen, and get this deep in God to turn around and start playing with God. All right, amen. Oh, yeah, we got a whole lot of people. They they going to lose out at, right at the finish line. Mm. Amen, but he that run have run all. He that run have got to run all the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah. Woe be unto these preachers that preach melodia, amen, to make themselves of reputation. Mm. Oh, I love Bishop so-and-so. I love Apostle so-and-so. I love Elder so-and-so. Amen. But what about living the life? What about actually warning the people? What's going to keep them out of sin? Amen. It's time to know the truth. Amen. Because folk are going to be lost. People are going to be left here. Don't you know this world is going to be in total chaos once the rapture take place in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. This vile body shall be put on incorruptible and this mortal shall put on incorruptible and we shall be changed. We're going to put on immortality and we shall be changed. But don't you know just like in that moment, the saints going to be changed, this world going to be changed. Changed. Amen. Oh, you ain't hearing that a lot, is you? Amen. Just like we be, we gonna be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. This whole world gonna change. Yes, it is. Oh, don't you be left here? Don't you be left here? It's coming. Christ is coming soon. He's coming back soon. Amen. And he gonna catch a lot of folk with their work undone. Read the book, please. Help us, Jesus. Matthew twenty-four. <clears throat> 29 through 51. Read. Immediately after the tribulation. Now look at this now. Read it again. Immediately after the tribulation. It said immediately 
after the tribulation. What's going to happen? Of those days shall the sun be darkened. Oh, you don't get a lot of folk preaching this now. And the moon shall not give her light. Uh-huh. And the stars shall fall from heaven. And? And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Now look at this. Immediately after the tribulation. There's going to be another change in this world. The world going to change. Amen. There's going to be a change that take place once the rapture take place. Just like this world shifted and changed when COVID came in. People, when COVID came in, it came in suddenly and instantly, instantaneously, there was a change in the world. Instantly, you couldn't go to work without a face mask. Amen. Hallelujah. Instantly, hand sanitizer became of importance. Instantly, breathing machines came of a high importance. Instantly, respirators came of high importance. Instantly, these things happened. Listen to me, people. When the rapture take place, amen, amen, there's going to be an instant change in this world. And it's going to be devastating. This world going to go through great chaos. And then it said after the tribulation. So once the rapture take place, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be, it's going to be confusion in the land. It's going to be destruction. It's going to be devastating. It's going to be bad. It's going to be, it's going to get worse. It's going to be suffering. It's going to be confusion. Listen to me, people. And then the world got to go through a seven year tribulation period where this world is going to be worse than it's ever been in life. Since since life ever existed, there's going to be no days like the tribulation and no time after like the tribulation. Immediately after the tribulation. So why would you suffer right now during the grace period? Why would you have it hard right now during the grace period and then be left here to deal with after the rapture and to deal with that period after the rapture and then have to go through the tribulation and be lost forever? Beloved, don't you be left here. Don't you be lost. Don't you suffer suffer this tribulation. Don't you suffer before the tribulation. Beloved, right now, make Jesus your choice. Stay with God. Get rid of sin. Stop playing with God. Stop playing in your mess. Stop playing with your flesh. Live for God for real. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Immediately after the tribulation, this world is going to go through so much before the tribulation. There's going to be a pre-tribulation suffering. There's going to be a pre-tribulation chaos. There's going to be a pre-tribulation day of reckoning and wrath and confusion. Amen. And then the God is going to pour out his tribulation wrath. You don't want to be here. Don't you be left here when God pour out his wrath. Amen. Ain't no more mercy. No. Ain't no more grace. Yes. Ain't no more help and long suffering for man. Amen. He's long suffering now. Yes. Not willing that any should perish. But if you left here, once Christ come for the church, you are destined and doomed to perish. Read. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And then after the tribulation, after the rapture, after the tribulation, oh my God, then the world is going to go through another change, people. Don't you be left here when all of these changes start taking place with this world. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't had it hard at all compared to this time. Amen. And this said, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Mourn, that means great suffering. It's going to be great anguish in the land. It's going to be great hardships. Amen. It's going to be great tears, many crying. Folk going to be having the greatest prayer meeting after the rapture take place, but not one of those prayers going to be heard. Hmm. Oh, yes. Did you hear what I said? The tri the tri all the tribes of the earth going to mourn. Folk going to be gathering, offering up many prayers to God, and not one of them going to be heard. There's not going to be any peace. Nope. There's not going to be no joy. It no. said all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. Don't you be left here. When you refuse salvation and you lost, woe be unto you. Woe be unto you when you reject the altar call. Woe be unto you when you sit up and think those vain thoughts in your mind against God's holy preachers. Mm -hmm. When he trying to warn the people. Right. Woe be unto you. Because there's not going to be any more chance. There's not going to be no more hope. There's not going to be no more opportunity for you to be saved. 
amen, during that tribulation, 144,000, amen, is going to be sealed, but that's not going to be the church. Right. That's going to be his elect. Read the book, yeah. please. Amen. You're going to be subject to the wrath of God. If you left here, you're going to be subject to the full wrath of God that he's going to pour out of his cup. That's The Bible said the cup of God's wrath that's without mixture. There ain't going to be no grace mixed in that. No mercy, no patience, no long suffering, no care. Right. God is going to judge without pity. Mm. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost, y'all. The wrath of God abideth upon the children of disobedience. That's why I'm crying loud. I'm trying to save somebody's soul. Read. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You gotta go. A amen. So this is not the time that you're thinking about. It said, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Amen. That's not the time that you're thinking of, of the coming of Christ. That's not the coming of Christ that you're thinking about. That's not talking about the rapture of the way for the church. This is talking about after the tribulation. This is talking about a second coming, a second event. Listen to me, people. It said, verse 31, And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, one from one end of the heaven to the other. He going to come back at the, after this second event, after the tribulation, after the world has been through great chaos that has ever been before. Great suffering that nobody ever experienced before. Amen. And then he going to come, amen, and gather his elect. That's not the church. This talking about those 144,000 Jews that's been scattered over the earth. Amen. And he going to gather them, amen, from one end of the earth to the other. It said, now learn the parable of the fig tree. It said, when his branch is tender, have you ever noticed, amen, a branch, amen, on a tree or on a bush, when it's nice and soft and tender, and it put it forth leaves, you're starting to see leaves starting to bud, you got the sense, amen, that winter is over, and now spring is breaking forth, and now spring is here, and now you know summer is coming. Amen. When the leaves starting to bud, you know, summer is not. The Bible says, so likewise ye, when you shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Now, this was a twofold meaning, people. I hope y'all can hear me good. This was a twofold meaning meant to encourage his elect, but it was also meant to encourage us, the church, because he was speaking twofold here. He was talking about two separate events simultaneously, people. He was, amen. When you start to see the signs of the times, amen, they're pointing to the right Rapture, amen. And when you begin to see all of these things that's being fulfilled, that's leading up to the rapture, know that the rapture is near. God, he said, no man know the day, know the hour, but beloved, he, he loved us enough, amen, to give us signs to point to his coming, to prepare ourselves and make us ready for his coming. And just like the devil time, know, he, know his time is short. If you not saved, your time is short too. It's time to get right now. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels in heaven, but my father only. And that's one reason, people, that we got to be ready. Because we don't know the exact moment. Amen. We just know indications and signs that lead up to his coming. But, beloved, we got to be ready. We got to be clothed with righteousness. A breastplate of righteousness, a helmet of salvation, a shield of favor, loins girded about it with truth. Huh? Amen. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Huh? Amen. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and praying. Huh? Amen. With all prayer and supplications in the spirit for all saints. Huh? Hallelujah. We got to prepare ourselves. Huh? We got to stand the battle. Huh? Amen. Let, lest we be left here. Huh? If we don't stand, we're going to be left here. Huh? If we don't stand, we're going to fall. Huh? And we're going to be subject to the calamity. We're going to be subject to the calamity that's going to befall the whole earth. We're going to be subject and left here to deal with the destruction and the suffering and the punishment of God. Amen. Before the, the eternal punishment. There's going to be a pre-punishment before an eternal punishment. Why would you be want to be here? Why would you want to be here? Why would you be lost when you don't have to? 
Amen. Don't you know, even though God made hell, you don't have to go? Oh, no. Yeah, he made hell, and it's appointed for the devil and his angels, and all those that follow, that rather serve the creature more than the creator, but you don't have to go. It's not his will that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance. It's not God's will for you to perish. Don't you know, it, don't, it hurts God when souls are lost. It hurts, it grieves God when the creation and the created thing that he made perish. He didn't create you to perish, beloved. You don't have to be left here when God's mercy runs out. What's, what, what's going to happen when the sun stops shining? Amen. What's going what, what's to happen, amen, after God's mercy runs out on man? What happens when God give you up? Don't you know God will give you up? Hallelujah. He'll give you up to be a reprobate. He'll give you up and stop striving and dealing with you. He'll give you up to be left here where there's no more opportunity for you to be saved. This is the time now to be serious about God. Amen. This is the time now, if you're not saved, to come to God. And this is the time now that if you say to stay with God. Stay with God. Come to God. Come to God and stay with God. Get with God. Cleave to God and don't leave God. Because you don't want to be left here. It said, but as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days of that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. They just living haphazardly, marrying, in, giving in marriage, going with this woman, going with that, eating, drinking, fornicating, sinning, living after the flesh, people. It said, until the flood, the day that Noah entered into the ark. And, and those, the ones that's going to be left here, Everybody that's going to be left here, the ones that's going to be left here are going to be sinning all the way up until Christ come and until God cuts off sin. Oh, there's a cutoff period to sin, people. Oh, yeah, you living after the pleasures of the flesh now, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she living. And folk that's just like the days of Noah, they sinned all the way into the time that Noah entered the ark and, uh, and God flooded the earth. Folk going to be sinning all the way into the day that God cut sin off. I'm trying to encourage you. God is warning you. God is warning you. Even you, preacher. God, even you, teacher. God is warning you, don't you be left here. To much whom is given, the same as much is required. Don't you be left here. Put away the sin. Put away sin. It said, verse number 39, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. There shall be two in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Oh, God, he's coming back for the church. The church is not going to have to experience the tribulation. The saints will not experience the wrath of God. The Bible said we are not appointed unto such wrath. Oh, so, amen, he's going to ransom us out. And he's going to catch us away. We're going to be caught away, amen, before full destruction and the wrath of God is poured out upon the earth. Two women shall be grinding at the meal. And one shall be taken and the other one left. Watch therefore. Oh, somebody need to say, Lord, help me to stay watchful. Help me to watch, Lord. Help me to be alert, Lord. Help me to be discerning, Lord. Help me to examine myself, Lord. All this entails with watching. Don't be watching TV. Watch yourself. Don't be, <laughs> hallelujah. Don't be watching everybody else. Watch for the signs of the coming of the Son of Man and watch and examine that your life measure up. For ye, you, you know not what our, your Lord doeth come. Don't let you be left here. Ain't no sense of praying once you left here. God bless you too, my, my brother. Amen. God bless you. May the Lord God richly bless you and increase you ever the more for your true hunger and desire for the blessed word of God. But beloved, I got to warn the people. Ain't no sense of repenting once you left here. When you left here, it's too late. The verse 43 say, but know this, know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch, at what time, in what hour, the thief would come, 
he would have watched. He would have been prepared. He would have been ready. He would have been equipped waiting for this thief to come and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, just like that good man that armed himself, prepared himself, equipped himself for the coming of the thief because he found, he found the time that he coming. So he's going to be watching and waiting and ready for him. Just like that, be ye also ready. Uh-huh. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man coming. He coming back when most men is going to least expect it. I say most men because the church we watching for is coming. We ready for his coming. We anticipating. How many living in anticipating Christ's coming? Are you living in anticipation of Christ's coming? Or are you, or are you, are you planning shows? Are you planning vacations to, to, to different sinful attractions? Or are you anticipating Christ's coming? Or are you, are you booking and planning events? Huh? Listen to me. She that liveth the pleasure is dead while she living. Most people, they not going to be ready. They gonna, they, Christ going to come when, when they least expect it. Men is going to be preoccupied. Folk, right now, the devil got so many people preoccupied. They preoccupied with themselves. They preoccupied with this flesh. They preoccupied and distracted with the cares of this life. And that's why you can't please God because no soldier entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he please him, God, who have called him to be a soldier. So many people are distracted and preoccupied with everything else but God. Verse 45 say, are we still in Matthew 24? Verse 45 say, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give him meat in his season, in his in due season. Blessed is that servant. That's the one that's blessed, whom when his Lord cometh shall find so doing, meaning continuing in those things, living the life in anticipation of his Lord's return. Serving God. Faithful. Folk want to hear God say, well done, good and faithful. And they not good and they not faithful. Help me, Jesus. Don't you know you got to be good and faithful in order for God to testify thou good and faithful servant? Oh, my Lord. You got so many church, you got so many folk, they faithful, but they not good. Oh, yeah, you got folk that go to church religiously. But their heart is full of sin, full of backbiting, full of envy, full of hypocrisy, full of lying, full of cursing. Full, uh, help me, Jesus. Full of fornication. They faithful, but they not good. And, and then you got some that think they good, but they not faithful. You got to be good and faithful for God to truly testify, well done, thou good and faithful servant. He said, verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his good. That's the one that's going to be blessed. That's the one that's going to be rewarded. That's the one that's going to enter into eternal life. The one who lived the life and anticipated Christ is coming all the days of their life. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of their life. And he shall, he said, but if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the left is coming. Look, they've been saying this for years. Oh, they've been talking about Jesus coming back for years. But l listen to me. Amen. You better recognize the moment right now you that closer to Jesus coming back than way back then. Every day you live your life, you one day closer to your death. Every day you live your life, we one day closer to Christ's return. It said, and the Lord of that serve, it said, and he delayed my, my Lord delayed his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and to drink. With the drunken, oh, he done, he done went back into the world. He done backslidden. He, oh, God ain't coming back right now. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day. See, the moment you think you going to backslide, it, that could be very well the time that God cut your life off. The very time that you think, amen, that you got time and you backslide and leave God because you overwhelmed and think it's too hard. That could be the very moment that Christ comes. You don't know. Don't you be left here and don't you take a chance. 
The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour when he is not aware, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There's no time to get ready when he come. There's no time to get slack. There's no time to get doubtful. Amen. Like Evangelist Willis, even though we got faith, it's time to ask God to continue to increase our faith. Add to my faith, Lord. Slackness will keep you unprepared. We got to live our lives holy with a constant reverence. We got to live our life blameless with a constant reverence and a constant anticipation of Christ's coming. Ezekiel 33, we, we got on this platform a little late, but that's all right. Ezekiel 33 and 11 says, Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord. So this is God talking. Amen. This is his word. He said, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God, hallelujah. Oh, God does not take pleasure in the death of a, of a soul. He do not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. He's angry with the wicked, but it still grieves God when a wicked soul is lost. I have no pleasure. It do not please God when souls are lost. He loves man. He gave his very best from heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever he loved every sinner, every wicked person, no matter what you done in life. Whosoever believeth in him, he'll wipe your slate clean. He'll forgive you. He'll, he'll renew you. He'll receive you. He'll accept you. Whosoever believeth upon him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. That's why he reaching out. That's why God got me crying loud. Oh, this is a word from the Lord. Amen. Every time you raise your hand and, and in anticipation and say, God, send a word, God going to send a word. Oh, yes. Amen. God loves man. That's why he got me reaching out tonight. I told you the devil in trouble. That's why he warning man tonight. God is warning you right now to choose you this day, to live for the Lord, to anticipate his coming. Be watchful. Be ready. Be on guard. Be alert. Be sober. Be vigilant because time is running out. Time is running out and is running toward eternity. Eternity that's everlasting. Oh, yes, everlasting. Everlasting punishment or everlasting reward. Choose you this day. Turn ye. It said, but it said, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye. Turn ye from your evil ways. For why would you die, O house of Israel? Turn ye. Repent. He's giving you a chance. This is the warning. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Huh? Oh, once the rapture take place, there's no escape. Makes no difference. How bad you want to go to heaven if you lose, if you hear after the rapture, you're lost. Makes no difference how bad you want to go to heaven. Sin to keep you out. Sin to put you out. And sin won't let you get in. Oh yeah. Hey Amen. Makes no difference how bad the preachers want to go to heaven. The leaders. So called leaders want to go to heaven. Hey Amen. If they compromise and compromise. It will keep them out too. Oh yes it will. Hey Amen. Taking down will keep you out too. Yes it will. Joel 2. 1 through 13. I'm almost done. We started late but that's okay. Joel 2, 1 through 13. It said, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Don't you know I'm obeying God? Oh yeah, I don't I don't try to go on the internet and find messages. I don't call people to try to find messages. Oh no, I talk to God. I talk to God about what He wants me to preach. Hallelujah, Lord. I seek the face of God and I'm obeying God right now. He told me to sound the alarm. He told me to preach, don't you be left here. To warn the people not to be left here. Warn the people not to be left here. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm. See, a lot of folk, they want the flattering messages. 
Oh, they want the goodness of God message, the grace. They want the love. They want they want the messages that would, the preacher got all kind of definitions to show how much he know, so how much he know, so how much he studied. Look, I want I want to teach you and feed you what God wants you to have. I want you to hear the words of God. I want you to hear the voice and the mouth of God. What he will want you to have, and I'm not saying nothing wrong with teaching definitions. Follow me. Amen. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. How many know the day of the Lord is coming? Amen. The rapture is not the day of the Lord, but the rapture pre precedes the day of the Lord. Amen. So if the day of the Lord is at hand, how much closer are we to the rapture? You don't want to be left here when the day of the Lord. No, you don't. Amen. The day of the Lord is a mighty act of God. Amen. To punish sin. It's going to be a mighty move of Jesus to punish iniquity, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Amen. And to establish his rule over all the nations of the land at the second coming of him. That's the day of the Lord. You don't want to be here when he come. You don't want to be here when, on the day of the Lord at his second coming. You want to be caught away with the rapture. You want to be right, ready, harvest that's right and ready for God to rapture you away. Because the day of the Lord, amen, it's a day of judgment. It's a prejudgment of universal judgment, amen, a judgment that precedes eternal and final judgment. Verse 2 say, a day of gloom, a day of darkness and of gloominess. Hallelujah, it's going to be destruction, judgment and destruction, amen, on the whole face of the earth to everybody that's left here who did not get raptured away when Christ came. Listen to me. Oh, I'm crying loud. God is warning you. Stay with me. Never leave me because I promised I'd never leave you. A day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong. There have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth don't you know people that there's not gonna be anywhere to run there's not gonna be anywhere to hide there's not gonna be anywhere to escape the wrath of God in the day of his judgment if you left here after the church has been caught away Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost, y'all. Oh, yes, a fire devoured before them and a flame behind them and a flame burneth behind them and the land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Amen, God, amen, he was prophesying then that he was sending an invasion. Oh, yes, amen, and the garden of the land before them was like the garden of Eden, but everything was destroyed and destruction behind them, and they was coming to conquer, and nothing shall escape them. Just like, amen, the, the prophesied invasion was going to destroy everything in its path, if you not saved and you left here, you not going to escape either. I'm trying to wrap this up, but God got me warning you. Amen, the appearance of them, Joel, I'm at Joel uh, 2 and verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and as horsemen, so shall they run. We're talking about this army that God sent now. And the noise, but, but, but look at how chaos and destruction and confusion and devastation and fear was in the land. This is the same way it's going to be, amen, in the day of the Lord. This is the same way this world and earth is going to be changed, amen, after the saints is raptured out of here. The noise of the chariots on the top of the mountains, they shall leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devour the stubble, as a strong people set it in battle array before their face the people shall be much pain 
Look at that. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. People going to be much pain. They going to be, amen, subject to complete terror. Why would you want to be left here? Why would you want to sit in church, go through the formality, but never have a true transformation? Why would you want to give up this great salvation for things that's going to burn and canker in the world? They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb upon walls like men of war. They shall walk, march everyone his on his ways, and they shall not break ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. It's going to be so fearful. In the day of judgment, after the rapture, amen, it's going to be so fearful in the second coming, amen, so terrible that people will try to kill themselves to escape the judgment and the wrath of God. People are going to try to commit suicide. They're going to cry, they're going to, cry to the rocks, fall upon me, hide us from the day of the Lord's judgment. Amen. In the book of Revelations, it says some shall shot the, in that time, at that time, there's going to be the time where people will try to seek death and death will flee from them. They're going to try to escape through death, through suicide, and death will flee from them because there's going to be no escape from the wrath. God will make it where you will not escape how shall we escape if we neglect there's no way to escape the judgment of God once the doors of salvation closed after you refuse salvation one too many times you're lost amen after you neglect this salvation one too many times you could be lost grace's mercy is over after the rapture the day of the Lord is great and very terrible the scriptures say in verse 11, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. Don't you know nothing can stop God? Nothing can stop the Christ when he come to establish his rule on the earth. When he come to punish the inhabitants of the world for sin, he's strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? I'm warning you. Don't you be left here. Amen. And in my closing, Isaiah 55, I'm trying to help somebody. Isaiah 55, verse 6 through 7, seek ye the Lord, and you that save, continue to seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Because during the tribulation, after the rapture, after the doors of salvation have completely closed, once the master have risen and have shut to the door, amen, he will not be found when you seek him. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And you that say, keep seeking him, keep calling on him, keep growing on him, keep growing up in him. Lord, I need the more of you. Ah, yada da ba shando. Lord, I need the more of you, God. Ah, yada da ba shande. Lord, I need the more of you, God. Oh, God, so I can stand. So I can stand, Lord. So I can make it. So I can endure, Lord. So I can enter in into the gates of the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and murderers and whosoever loveth and maketh the lie, God, I want to be holy. Let the wicked forsake his way. If you commit sin, you're wicked. Makes no difference how much you sing in church. If you commit sin, you're wicked. No matter how much you try to stand and try to preach and teach people, if you sin, you are wicked. Let the wicked forsake his ways. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Grace is here now. Salvation and mercy is here now. The day of the Lord's patience. Hallelujah. The day of the Lord's patience is now. Let him return unto the Lord. The day of salvation is now. The day to get it right with God is now. The day to repent of your sins is now. The day to make it up in your mind that you're going to live for God is now. Let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. 
His mercy is waiting on you, beloved. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Because God love you, and I love you. I don't want nobody to be lost. Lord, help me not to be lost. Lord, help me not to be lost. Lord, save me. Oh, if there's anybody on the line today, on this conference line, I'm reaching out. Grace is reaching out. Love is reaching out. Don't be ashamed. If you be ashamed of him, he's going to be ashamed of you when he come with his holy angels. If you need to repent, the time is now. If you not saved, the time to turn to God is right now. Today, if you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Because at any moment, it could be too late. Is anybody here on the conference line that would like to give their life unto Jesus? That would like to give their life unto God? You could put down the gains, the drugs, the smoking, the drinking. Whatever you bound by, Jesus can break the yoke. And come unto me, all ye that labor, heavy laden, whatever your heavy laden, whatever you hate, heavy laden with. He said, I will give you rest. Take his yoke. Get, get rid of the devil's yoke. Take Jesus' yoke upon you and learn of him so you can escape the great damnation that shall befall, amen, the whole wide world. Is there anybody that want to be saved on a conference line? Now is the time to unmute your phones. I want to hear you. Who are you? Did someone say something? I will pray you through right now. I will usher you right now into the throne of, to the throne of grace where you can find salvation and rest for your soul. Amen. And if anybody on Facebook, anybody on YouTube that heard this message and something was said to prick your hearts, call me. My personal number is 260 487 1385 260 487 1385. I will pray you into the presence of God where you can repent and give your life unto the Lord before it's everlasting too late. God bless you. I love you. And always remember. To God be all of the glory. God bless you. I need your spirit.